What's up everybody, subscribe for more content. So in this video, I will be talking about the well in front of Jeremiah Compson's house. Now this is a side mission that you can do. You can actually go inside of the house. I've seen a few videos where they're talking about the writing inside of the well and not knowing what it is. And I haven't seen really nobody compare the mission to this or even speak about it. But I think the mission pretty much explains what the writing is. So first I'm gonna show y'all what the writing looks like, what I think about it, and then give you all the evidence inside of the house of why it's there. So first, if you look at the well, you see it had a top on it. Everything's been broke down just like the house. Nobody lives here anymore. Has scratches on the top. So then you go down, and pretty much the only thing you find down here is some coins and some writing on the wall. So pull out your old lamp. Look at it. So it's marked like days, like somebody was trapped down here, being held hostage. And you got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And on the third line, it gets kind of funny, where it's three marks with a line through it, then five, then two, then it looks like one. Don't know, might not be nothing, but below that, you have three crosses and a sun and three clouds. So the first time I seen this what I took from it was somebody was being held captive down here so for the first 45 days it looked like they was getting fed and after that on that third line where the days get kind of crazy they probably wasn't getting fed and no water nothing like that they started getting delirious so they was dying of dehydration and starvation and they knew they was gonna die so that's why they put the three crosses the Sun and the clouds so that was my first take on it because I, I never seen this at first so then I got to thinking that I've actually been to this house before. It was a side mission. So I went back in my saved game and I did it again. So this is the front of the house. Now this is a mission for Jeremiah Compson. It used to be his house. And on the front door it says this. By order of Judge Meredith Holden in the courts of the state of Lemoyne, we do hereby grant repossession of this property and all items here into the Bank of Roads. M. Holden, Judge Holden, Henrietta Blackley, Clerk, November 18th, 1895. So that was 1895. So his house got repossessed. So you can go in here. And there's a lot of letters in here to give you history of the house. Here's the first one. April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Compson, I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation. I'm grateful for the help you've given us and the help your pappy and your pappy's pappy gave us before you. These are trying times for all of us. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Yours truly, Colonel J. Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. So remember that letter? That's from the Ascension Plantation. And that's the key thing in the end of this video. So here's the second letters from a guy named Bill. And he don't say too much. I guess he was like a family friend or something. But the letters get darker and darker the more you read them. And it tells you more about Jeremiah Compson. So we end up finding a lot more. Just keep on watching. I hate dropping long videos, but here goes the third letter. Pa, God damn it. Told you to stay away from the boy. He don't want this. Heck. None of so that's his son saying that now the family wants nothing to do with Jeremiah Compson. So here's the last letter that you can find in the house. Dear Mr. Compson. After numerous complaints from customers and fellow employees alike, we must terminate your employment. There's just no place for a man like you at the Central Union Railroad. Jeremiah Compson ended up getting terminated from his job, and I'm assuming because he had something going on outside of the job. So here's a picture that you can find of the trap door that's in the floor. This was his house when he lived there, looked all clean and stuff. So. After you kill two people in the mission that have been staying there, you end up opening the trap door and going down. And this right here is just 100% proof, I think, of why the whale writing is right there and what it is. So 
As soon as you get down here, first thing you see is chains everywhere. At shackles, people was held captive down here. Also had bunks on the walls. Had four of them. Had shackles on the pillars. Real messed up, man. Real fucked up. He kept people captive down here. Had the trap door in his living room. So I didn't see no writings on any of the walls or on the wood or nothing like that. But if anybody else can find anything, if you go back, let me know. I didn't see nothing. I searched for a while. I do. I hate dropping long videos, but I had to show all this. So I put it in first person, and you end up seeing a lot more, a lot more chains on the walls, and even whips. He was lashing people. So real fucked up, man. To further investigate this, there's a diary over here on the shelf, and you can look at that and also read it. And it will let you know a little bit more about this. So head on over to it. It's right here. And check it out. Well, that's that. I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking in my heels. But I don't suppose that day gonna be far off yet. It was 50 lashings yesterday and 50 more to come. I don't think I can take any more. Man said he was doing his job. Funny kind of employment if you ask me, but I suppose you ain't. Lights fading, so that's it for now. I do hope I live to see the end of this war and justice win out. Ugh. June 64. So the diary is from a runaway slave that Jeremiah Compson ended up finding. That was his side job, was to hunt down runaway slaves. That would explain the Ascension Plantation, writing him the letters and holding people captive below his house and explain why there's writing in the well and the whips and chains and all that stuff. Dark Side of Red Dead, it's crazy, real messed up. So here's the actual ledger that he kept of the people that he found and the rewards he would get for returning them. All the letters and everything that would explain why he lost his job and after the war was over he was probably still doing it. And his house got repossessed and it's crazy. Real messed up, man. So the last thing I would like to show is once you go back upstairs and you head to the kitchen, there's a picture that's on the wall and it's from the Ascension Plantation. It even further elaborates of what he did and uh, something they gave him for for what he did for them so check it out you gotta flip it around and read it and this is what it says June 7th 1855 dear sir please accept this likeness of your family as a small token of appreciation for your assistance in the recovery of my property like your old pa you're a cunning old dog and a credit to this community <laughs> yours Colonel Joshua Nixon the Ascension Plantation. So the Colonel guy, he ended up giving him the picture as a token of his appreciation. He said for the assistance or recovery of his property. Just further elaborates on what Mr. Compson was doing. So you can finally confront him about everything. And this is the last cutscene of the mission. Watch. Respected once, I had a profession. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride. The respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this old crap? Huh? My things. Don't you understand? Those bastards, they changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Old man, some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, do they are pissing What are you doing? That's, that's my history. Damn you. Damn you. I still exist. And that's it. I hate dropping long videos, but I had to put all this evidence in there. 
that's what I think the well is. He had a captive down there, just like he had all the captives under his house. And the bright side of the whole thing is you can finish this guy off. So he deserved it. Bye-bye. Catch y'all later. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like.